<laughs> Those flies are having sex. Having sex and hearing people laugh are two of my favorite things. So I think in a perfect world, if I had sex in a movie cinema while people were laughing at my film, I would be in heaven. <laughs> that would be, and I'll be drawing at the same time, drawing another film. To me, that is the perfect, uh, the perfect life. If you go to sleep and dream and have bizarre, weird sex dreams and bizarre, gory slasher dreams or whatever, and you know, every, everybody has them, I guess, and, and, and most of us do a pretty good job of sort of tamping that down and, 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 and in, our, in our jobs there's, there's no real call to let all of that out. She makes my twinky tingle, but she always rejects me. Even though he's a perfectionist and a little bit neurotic about his perfectionism, uh, he's also very gentle. Like there's not, you know, a dark or, I mean, there's, there are dark bones in his body, but it's not evil dark. He's not, um, he's not mercenary. He's got really a very gentle soul. So Bill hired me to do Spud on Hair High, and the salary for my work uh, was $1,000. But I wasn't a member of SAG at the time, and so I had to join SAG. And to join SAG, it cost me $1,500. So to do Hair High, I'm 500 bucks in the hole. <laughs> Folks, it's a wonderful fall afternoon, and it looks like we've got a full house. It's the game of the year, our Echo Lake Fighting Cocks versus the hated crosstown rivals, the Beavers. Bill goes to a very subconscious place, a place that would be subconscious for most of us, but I think he lives there a lot. Um, and he, things that we might dream or, or think, boy, I had that thought, but I wouldn't tell someone I had that thought. He just, puts right out there. 